They've been hailed as a team of modern day explorers. The ABC's Paul Lockyer, John Bean and Gary Ticehurst, who all died last year when their helicopter crashed in a remote part of South Australia. They've delivered their final story today, a new book about Lake Eyre in flood. Deborah Rice reports. This is the book that renowned journalist Paul Lockyer finished writing just days before he died. Before he departed for his final trip to Lake Eyre, Dad left the manuscript on the table to read as our task for the next 10 days. The words leapt off the pages. It's a tribute to the land and the people of Lake Eyre, the stories gathered while documenting its incredible transformation from drought to flood. It was a challenge Paul Lockyer embraced, as did his cameraman John Bean and helicopter pilot Gary Ticehurst. But now it's more like a tropical wetlands. Their work was an inspiration to artist John Olson and Paul Lockyer launched his Lake Eyre exhibition last year. The three newsmen crashed to their deaths shortly afterwards. The painter put down his brush and took up a pen to remember them. Beat the muffled drums, sing a sad song. In a suspended second, a mechanical Icarus falls from the sky. Spin, spinning, spun, then silence. We remember them. The book launch brought the men's families together again, this time in celebration. It is a bit of a bittersweet moment for us, but you know, he worked so hard towards this, and not only him, but John and Gary as well, and it's just, uh, it's a wonderful thing that we can celebrate. Paul's just a wonderful storyteller, and what he's done in this book is weave the people and the environment, and in particular the, the harshness sometimes of the world out there. Professor Kingsford and many others have also contributed to the book, saluting the lake and its modern explorers. Deborah Rice, Late Line.